What's up guys, this is Max Square, and this is what I like to call a quick tutorial where I show you something really simple and how to do it really quickly to save you the most amount of time. So what we're gonna be doing is creating some color palettes in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and open that up. This is really simple to do. All we have to do is grab a square or it can be a circle, whatever shape you want, and we're just gonna drag that out. Then what we wanna do is remove the stroke and just have a fill. So I'm gonna hit that transparent icon and then switch the fill and stroke. And you can set this to whatever color you want. So you're gonna to wanna to choose two primary colors. I'm just gonna pick a light blue like so. Then we're gonna duplicate this square by clicking and dragging while holding Alt. And if we hold down Shift, it won't move up and down. Then we probably wanna pick a darker color for this. Again, this is completely up to you. But then what we wanna do is we're gonna select both of our squares Go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and you wanna change this from Smooth Color to Specified Steps. And the amount of steps you choose here is gonna determine how many steps you have between the first and the last square. I'm just gonna go with eight, and you can leave the orientation and hit OK. Nothing's gonna happen, and that's totally OK. We're gonna go back up to Object, go to Blend one more time and hit Make, and then we'll see our colors come into place. Now the last thing you wanna do is just go up to object and select expand and hit fill and stroke and hit okay. And that's gonna make each individual square its own shape. So you can actually click into each one of these and move it around if you want. Now if you skip that last step, you won't be able to control these squares, but if you do edit the first square, it'll still affect what the colors look like. So I can actually click into this first square, move it around, and you'll see all the other squares will update accordingly. And if I wanted, I could actually change this color to something like a yellow, and you'll see the color palette updates like so. This works again for the other side too, so we could pick you know, some random other color, and then we've got a brand new color palette. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.